of the, the Prophet ﷺ, I think the issue is, is very simple. I don't think it's complicated at all. Allah Azzawajal said in the Quran, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام الدين. This day I perfected for you your religion. The religion of Islam, alhamdulillah, is complete. It is perfect. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in the hadith of Aisha, man ahdatha fi amrina hadha ma alaysa minu fawarad. Whoever innovates into this religion of ours, that which is not from it, then it, then it is rejected. A simple question to anyone who supports um, celebrating the birthday of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam celebrate his birthday the way that these people encourage the Muslims to celebrate his birthday, the answer is no. Did he encourage with this? The answer is no. Then we look at the companions. Let us start with Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali radiallahu anhum ajma'in, the rightly guided Khulafa. Did any of them encourage us to celebrate the birthday of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa the, the way that the people are celebrating it today? The answer is no. Did they celebrate the birthday of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa No. Likewise, did any of the companions None of the companions encouraged with celebrating the birthday of the Prophet ﷺ, nor did they celebrate it. And I do not think that you will have an aqil, a sensible person from amongst the Muslims that will claim that they love the Prophet ﷺ more than the companions. So the companions of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ, they love the Prophet more than anyone else. Yet they did not celebrate his birthday. The students of the companions, the tabi'un, none of them celebrated his birthday, nor did they encourage anyone else to celebrate it. Nor did their students, Atba' al-Tabi'een, nor did any of the Imams of the religion, none of the Imams of the former Dahib, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i, Imam Ahmad, Al Imam Abu Hanifa, or any of the Imam al Islam celebrated the birthday of the Prophet. Where did this practice come from? It came from a heretical sect who innovated it into the religion of Al Islam. So I think the answer is clear. Alhamdulillah. This is one of the issues where you can truly differentiate between those who adhere to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and those who give lip service. Because Ahl sunnah they reject all innovations, regardless of who comes with them. It's not enough just to come and now start naming a list of scholars who, uh, you know, uh, from a few hundred years ago that ce- celebrated the birthday of the Prophet ﷺ or supported it. And you, you list... And uh, a bunch of scholars after the Salaf, after the Al-Qurun Al-Mufaddala, the three praiseworthy generations, and you...